What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio, an extra special edition of Red Seat Radio because it's our first ever vlog on this channel. I do want to say a couple of things before we get into the actual vlog itself. First, there's not as much player interaction as I would have liked there to be, but it was pretty difficult to get like in front of a player, especially ask questions to a player at Winter Weekend this year if I didn't have a media pass or I wasn't part of Nesson or WEI or anything. But there are a couple of videos in here of me interacting with players, so I did include that as well. I do want to give a couple of shout outs to Jerry Carabas, Lenny DiNardo, people who were kind enough to give me their time and let me ask them a few questions for this video. But the most special thing to me this winter weekend in terms of what the experience was like was the fact that there were people throughout the entire weekend coming up to me, taking pictures with me, talking to me, wanting to ask about the channel, wanting to have conversations about the Red Sox. This community is absolutely insane. I was not expecting that in the least. So thank you to everyone who was there at winter weekend and came up and say and said, said hi it truly meant the world to me and you will see some of those interactions in this video as well and finally i just want to say thank you to my wonderful girlfriend not only was she the reason we were there in the first place and for buying these tickets for me for christmas but also being my videographer the entire time as well i know it's not the greatest thing in the world but she truly was a trooper this weekend so thank you to her this was not possible without her anyways Let's get into the actual video itself. I'll still be probably behind the camera explaining some things here and there, but should be a good time. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin. We got a little bit of a different setup going on today. My regular mic is out of commission. We got these new mobile mics going on. And the reason for that is because, as I'm sure you guys have all heard already, at least once in one of my videos recently, I am going to Winter Weekend. And what I wanted to do was bring you guys all along with me so we can experience Winter Weekend together. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So we're going to start with before we even leave. I'm going to talk about what I packed, what I'm expecting to do, and what our plan is for day one. So, so far, I'm almost done packing here. I didn't really pack a ton, some Red Sox sh shirts and whatnot. I also packed a lot of Red Seat Radio merch, which I'll be wearing all weekend. And we're going to go and check into the hotel and sort of get ready for night one, which apparently is some sort of like town hall assembly meeting to sort of introduce you to the players and the people going to be at winter weekend, as well as sort of get to know the processes and stuff like that. I honestly have no idea and I'm not sure what to expect, but that's going to happen tonight as well. I also packed some baseballs and some baseball cards of specific players hoping to get some autographs so hopefully get some images as that of that as well and there's going to be a ton of red sox creators and personalities and stuff like that there so we'll see if we can get them on video here as well so that's our plan for today and i'm taking you along with me let's get into it but before we do make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're new here we talk red sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me thank you all for clicking on this one let's go to winter weekend together All right, we've officially made it to the hotel room right before winter weekend. This is my girlfriend, Jess. First time on the channel. How's it feel? Feels good. <laughs> we're just hanging out. We're going to wait a little bit, and then we're going to head over to the MGM. We are probably, what, a 20-minute walk away? Yeah, about. Okay, so we're going to head over there in about an hour, hour and a half, get ready for the town hall, we'll bring you guys along with us. But just wanted to give you a quick update. All right, we made it into Winter Weekend, the first event. I actually got recognized for the first time in public ever here. A subscriber. What's going on, man? Not much, not much. Yeah. Enjoying the weekend. Yeah. What are you thinking of Winter Weekend so far? I mean, it just started, so obviously not much is going on, but you liking it so far? Uh, yeah, liking it so far. I mean, the environment all seems uh, pretty great, you know, for as far as Springfield goes anyway. <laughs> but, you know, it's uh, most hopping I've ever seen it around downtown here. So, really? uh yeah, so pretty, pretty hype atmosphere, I'd say. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, looking Are you to from it. the area? Uh, I went to Winnick, so it's like I, I lived out here for like eight years, but like originally from Eastern Mass. All right, cool. And finally, what do you think about the Sox so far in 2023? You know, uh, I think the pitching improvements are the like the biggest indicator of an improvement over last year. I know everybody's concerned about the order and story and Bogarts in the middle of the infield, but I know that without like you know with the shift not or the overshift not being in effect, that's. Uh, 
it's going to be an impact, but honestly, pitchers win games. That's, you know, I think that that's yeah. having a good bullpen. And if the starters can stay healthy or if we can sign some extra depth there with the last 12 million or whatever we have left to spend, yeah. then, you know, I think we're yeah. going to be in good shape. So. All right. You heard it here first. Good shape in 2023. Go. All right. Let's enjoy this, uh, this little town hall here. Appreciate it. with the man in charge, the man who knows how to win. He's won a World Series as a player, as the manager of the Red Sox. He's back So as I'm kind of going through videos here, I'm realizing that some of the audio didn't come out great. I apologize for that, but I had recorded something in between the player introductions and when we got to the GM slash front office question time period, um, it didn't come out very well. So I'll just recap it right here for you. Basically, that was all the player introductions. They introduced all those guys. They gave away their player awards for the year. There was a uh, Christian Arroyo, one most underrated, I believe. Rob Refsnyder won one. Bayo won rookie of the year and MVP was obviously Rafael Devers. Then they exited the stage and the front office came on, hosted by Tom Karen and Jared Carabas. And well, it was a really interesting reaction by the fans. Not unexpected, just interesting. Take a look. The booing was so bad that at one point, Heim Bloom was trying to answer a question. You quite literally could not hear him. And I do have a video of this coming up, but I actually did kind of enjoy Heim Bloom's speech. I'm not going to be able to show the entire entirety of that speech for you guys because of the copyright rules, but I do have snippets here. So take a look at what he's trying to say. See if you can hear it over the boos. I tried to get John Henry answering a question as well, but those boos were so bad. You quite literally could not hear it. So I do have a snippet of Heim Bloom talking and John Henry talking. You can hear the boos in the background, but as you you can tell Red Sox fans were simply not happy at this town hall. Let's talk about this a little bit. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's we will have 10 questions coming up. Let's get there. So we had two choices, right? We could keep going, we could drive right off that cliff. You guys have seen big market teams do it before and end up rebuilding for half a decade. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable to you guys. That can't happen in Boston. So that was just part of Heim Bloom's speech. Again, I could not put the whole thing in due to copyright issues, but as you can tell, fans were simply not having it with Heim Bloom as he was trying to kind of explain why he made some of the decisions he's made so far for the last three years. Because remember, there hasn't been a winter weekend for the last three years. So he was trying to dive into that and it was actually a really great speech. Then we got to John Henry answering some questions and he butchered them. I could not get a video of the infamous one you guys have all I'm sure seen already, but he was asked why are ticket prices so expensive right now? Why why did they increase? And his answer was baseball players are expensive. That did not go over well. He did continue on and talk a little bit more. And that is a part of what you're about to see. You have to make decisions. You have to let players go sometimes. That is very, very tough. It's the worst part of this game. But we have an economic system in baseball that really sucks. All right. So we just finished up with winter weekend official like opening day ceremony thing here. There was a huge ovation for Rafi, got some pretty cool stuff there. Geheim gave one of the most motivational speeches I've ever heard him give on that stage. So that was pretty cool. Tons of booze coming out for John Henry. I mean, the crowd was not happy with ownership. Uh, that is 100% for certain. But overall, it was a ton of fun. We're going to head over to FanFest. I'm sure you guys will see all the clips I recorded and the actual sort of town hall meeting here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it when we're going to get more footage from FanFest. All right, so another little clip that got lost in translation here is right in between FanFest and the end of this town hall, we saw Jerry Caraba signing autographs and stuff like that. And my girlfriend was like, hey, why don't you go up there, see if he'll be a part of the vlog, see if you can ask him a couple of questions. And luckily for us, he was more than willing to do that. So this is my interview with Jared Carabas. Oh, I'm, so actually, I'm doing a little vlog for uh, Winter Weekend here. Hell yeah. yeah. I wanted to uh, no, like see what you thought about being on it, being up on the stage with everyone, especially John and the guy that really tough reception. What a time. Why? I don't know. I will say this. I will say this. Heim handled that so much better than I would have. And I was talking to him before we went on and I was like, I did a best man speech in 2016. And this was I was I had already done TV at that point. So I was like, I'm gonna crush this. Like I'm not gonna be nervous. And then I went up there and I was holding like my notes. My hands were shaking. So when Heim was getting booed, but he was giving his speech, I was watching his hands. Nothing. That's a leader. That's a leader. If you can get booed and still deliver your your message, something that you believe in, while you're holding a microphone, and nothing moves. Yeah. That's a leader. Yeah. What you think about John Henry's first appearance? Like two or three years. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. I was very surprised when I heard that he was going to do it, and then I, I knew that like a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on his first appearance in quite some time. I was like, you want me to ask him the questions? But I mean, I thought he, I thought he did okay. Yeah. You know, I, I think uh, fans wanted to hear from him. So and the fact that the fact that his first appearance in quite some time was in front of a room of fans versus like some controlled environment, props. And yeah. uh, just personally, how did it feel being up there? It's like, it's like why why am I up here? Uh, I mean, I was saying that earlier. I was like, I, I, I've been to every winter weekend except for the, for the very first one because there was a bad snowstorm. I was like, I'm usually like the Red Sox fan that's just like bumbling around the hallways doing whatever. So it, to me, very surreal to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, but I felt comfortable. Good. So, good. yeah, maybe we'll do it next year. Yeah. Cool to see. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you. Anytime. time. So thanks again to Jerry Carabas for not even not only taking the time out for to answer my questions, but to answer everyone who was up there trying to ask him questions, trying to get stuff signed. He had reservations for dinner at eight. He didn't get out of that building or off that stage until 845. So that was really impressive of him. So thanks again to Jared. From here, we went to FanFest. I actually met up with one of our early subscribers and a kid who is way smarter than me about baseball and is a great Twitter follow. We met up. We went to FanFest, which was essentially just a bunch of games and stuff like that. One of the things that was there was a batting cage and i hadn't swung a baseball bat in six years so you're about to see exactly what that looks like all right let's take a look all right we're at fan fest here it's a little thing that's put on after the town hall they got a bunch of games i'm gonna embarrass myself trying to hit a baseball for the first time in uh I don't even know. Six years. Let's see how this goes. For not having swung a bat in six years, I don't think that was that bad, but it wasn't pretty either. I'm definitely not getting any D1 or college or major league offers anytime soon. <laughs> All right, we are finally back at the hotel. Day one is in the book. Shout out to Jerry Carabas for being kind enough to wait after all of everything he did today to talk to every single one of the fans surrounding him, including myself. I hope you guys enjoyed that interview. Tomorrow we got player autographs. We got a whole bunch of stuff from like 9 to 8 p.m. We got a whole lot going on tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But Day one officially in the book. Super fun. Can't wait to see what day two brings. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. We are officially in day two here. Day one was absolutely incredible. Although I will say the booing during the actual event was a little bit interesting. I'm not the biggest Heimblum guy in the world, but we couldn't even, even hear him speak at any point. Red Sox fans were simply just not happy with the front office. But either way, welcome to day two. Today we got autograph sessions, we got panels. Hopefully we can get you know some videos of the players and other creators and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. We're headed to the venue now. Just woke up, got ready. So let's see what goes on today.
All right, so as you just saw, we checked out some of the sites, some of the museum stuff that was around the area for FanFest. Then we had to go to our first autograph session. And let me tell you, they do not tell you an ounce of information before you get in there. So you have no idea who's going to be signing, who's going to be taking pictures. And boy, oh boy, was this a huge surprise to really everyone in the room. <laughs> All right, we just got out of the autograph session. It was David goddamn Ortiz. I got an it picture with David Ortiz, shook his hand and everything. Absolutely insane. Joely Rodriguez was the autograph. Super nice guy, super fun to talk to and stuff like that. But David Ortiz was the main focus of that room. That was insane. I took a couple of pictures. We couldn't get a video of actually meeting David Ortiz, which is unfortunate. But yes, yeah, so that was the first autograph session. Now we're just going to check out the arena and everything like that. Maybe hit some panels. We'll get some videos of that as well. But I had to update you guys because that was absolutely insane. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Breslau. His Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Sokolamaki. So what you saw there was actually the introductions at the 2013 panel. I wish, I, again, I could have showed you all of it, but uh, this video would be super long. One and two, copyright issues prevent me from doing that. But that was a reunion of the 2013 team. Obviously, there were more people included. Those two people were Johnny Gomes and obviously David Ortiz had to be a part of that with the run he had in the playoffs. So that was a really interesting panel to go to. We left a little bit early once the fan question started because most of them were about autographs. While we were walking through the halls, though, we met up with one of our subscribers again by the name of Austin. He actually wore my merchandise to winter weekend so you know we had to get him on camera here is that interview all right so we're here just got done with the 2013 stuff it was an awesome experience and we met austin here who was actually wearing my merchandise to winter weekend absolutely insane austin how you like winter weekend so far um it's pretty good it's actually my first time here as a matter of fact and i think it's a really nice thing that the organization does to get the fans excited for the baseball season yeah. and i heard you uh you got an autograph session with kike as well yes. as uh, dwight evans how yes. was that um i actually saw kike last year when he was rehabbing in worcester yeah and it was nice to see him again today i enjoy watching him play um and i met dewey i mean what a what a red sox legend you know yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for hopping on the video with us. Thank oh, you for always supporting and all the merchandise and everything. I really do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and try and see what's going on with the WEI Ness and Boosts and all that. We'll get back up with you guys later. And then, of course, right after that interview, as we were walking into the Nesson WEI area that we showed you last night, it was, sort, it was also set up today. Lenny Donardo was just happened to be standing there. So I asked him a couple of questions about what the Red Sox booth in 2023 may look like and how he feels about this booth going forward. On, on just the winter weekend and everything, I wonder if I could ask you a question sure. about being in the booth or being in the studio next season. Uh, there are a couple of, you know, it's kind of revolving a little bit, especially with the absences of Remy and Heck. Um, with, with Middlebrooks and Wakefield and those guys kind of taking on a larger role, what do you kind of see the booth looking like in 2023? Well, with Middlebrooks and Wakefield, you're getting two different types of ball players, one being a pitcher, one being a, a, a position player. But, you know, they bring different things. You know, Wakefield played the game a long time. Yeah. The baseball IQ is obviously very high. So if he can just take a little bit of what he learned and went through as a player and then translate it to the fan base on a way that they understand it and, and, and get what he's talking about, I think that's the play-by-play uh, you know, -play guy is the what and the, uh, the color commentary is the why and how, right? Yeah. I think they'll do a good job of uh, translating that to the, to the Red Sox Nation. All right. well, I appreciate the question, man. Thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. Have a good day. All right, so we're almost yeah. done with the actual winter weekend itself. There are only a couple more things that went on after this. One was the autograph session, which we are about to see right now. And again, we got super lucky with our second autograph session as well. And you'll see why in a second right here.
going? Good, how are you? Don't be mad. Don't be mean. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm the Reese's catching, okay? So tell him not to blame me when he gets frustrated. It's not my fault. Yeah, no problem. Take that. There you go. All right, so we just got done with the second autograph session. It's a little hard to get them to, like, you can't really record or anything, so I couldn't get any conversations with them. But we met Jared Saltalamacchia from 2013. We also met Chris Sale. I told him I cannot wait for his revenge tour, so that was a good thing. He said, me too. Anyways, we're going to go into the final, like, session of the day. Red Sox Survivor type game, so it's going to be, like, a bunch of different games on stage with players and stuff. So I'll try to get some footage of that as well. But I wanted to update you guys on, you know, why there isn't a ton of conversations with players today. Thank you guys. And that's kind of it for winter weekend after that there wasn't any more real events there was some still some signature signings but we had already done our two sessions so we were good to go we went back to the room ate some dinner went to the casino had a little bit of fun saturday night but aside from that there wasn't a ton of red Sox stuff going on so this is sort of the end of the video and i again this was such an incredible experience i absolutely loved it and i will definitely be back next year the one thing i would change is i would love to next year hopefully get some more player actual player interviews i think that would be really really cool but again it was they were so hard to access especially when you had you know a hundred kids trying to get autographs we're not going to push through there to ask them some questions so hopefully next year we figure out a way to get involved with some of the players on the team but aside from that again huge shout out to every single one of you who a watched this but b came up to me during winter weekend whether it was to ask to take a picture to talk about the channel or to talk about baseball in general you guys made my weekend it was absolutely incredible thank you so much thank you again to jared and lenny for allowing me to ask them questions and be a part of this video and one more special thank you to my girlfriend who did make this weekend possible if you made it to the end of this video here do me a favor make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're new here we talk red Sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video as well helps these videos out a ton and it would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one and i will see you in the Red Sea.